name is Roy Olson and I'm your missionary to Romania. We started the ministry in Romania. Uh, actually, our first visit was in 2001. And in 2004, I knew that I knew that the next chapter in my life would be in the nation of Romania. And so in 2004, I bought property there and uh, began the uh, ministry of uh, Apa Via Ministries. Apa, in the Romanian language, is water, and Via is living. So it's Apa Via Water Living, or Living Water Ministries in Romania. And throughout the years, God has blessed, and uh, we have done uh, conferences for pastors and leaders, teaching on leadership and uh, personal development, and one that we describe as discover, develop, and deploy. Discover your God-given gifts. Develop those gifts. And then use those gifts or deploy those gifts. I have a few uh, photographs here I'd like to share with you. This is a, a photograph of one of the camps that we have done. And uh, you see in the background there, there is... Uh, the um, the Caleb Tabernacle, that's our place of worship there. And there you see 115 uh, children, adolescents, youth, and leaders. God moved in that camp in such a way that uh, the children began to weep at the end of one of the worship sessions inside and the Spirit of God so moved upon them that they went back to their bunks that night, weeping all the way, arm in arm with their brothers or sisters. And that night they fell asleep in the arms of Jesus, I like to say. And uh, I'll show you another one. I like this one because perhaps I'm personally involved in this one and this this little princess, the little princess was walking by one day and she commanded my attention. And so I, I with my walking stick, because the ground is so even, uneven there, I turned to address her. And that little princess spoke to me in the Romanian language. And I don't remember what the conversation was about, but that conversation with that little princess was unforgettable. Here we have another uh, picture. This is of a construction team that came to help us in uh, building in Romania. Uh, you may know some of them. They come from a church in Chesapeake, Virginia, and uh, they built that building uh, on which they are uh, seated or posing there. That was another highlight. Now while the children were in the, let me put these, this, these down, while the children were in that uh, building we call the Caleb Tabernacle, uh, God was uh, meeting those kids. They were held in a rapid attention and uh, this is a photograph of my sister who, realizing that God was doing something very special for the children in that meeting, she, she stood at the entranceway. And uh, she, uh, I believe in her heart and in her prayers, uh, was saying, uh, Lord, none of these children youth will leave until you are finished with them and also at the same time no outside influence will come in to disrupt what God is doing. This final photograph I'd like to show you is a uh, Google Earth view of our village and those um, outlined in the orange color 
are part of our property. We own four and a half acres in our village. And the white one towards the bottom is a piece of land uh, and house that we'd like to acquire. Why? Because we've been blessed with more and more adults, pastors, wives, couples coming to the conferences and the work of God there. And uh, rather than send the, the wives to one dorm and the husbands to another dorm, we'd like them to be together. And this house we're contemplating purchase has uh, three bedrooms and uh, a full bath, running water as we're accustomed to here in uh, uh, the United States. And whether we choose to move in there and give up our residence, which is a possibility, uh, that would free up our residence for these couples. Uh, otherwise, they would share that with uh, the three bedrooms and the full bath and the kitchen, of course. But uh, anyway, I share this because um, during these times of this uh, virus, we have uh, uh, found it a little difficult to return to Romania, but it looks like because I have a, uh, a visa, a Romanian visa, and of course my wife is a Romanian citizen, we hope in the near future to return and continue the work of God there to the degree that they allow us. And uh, so thank you, and uh, thank you for thinking of us. If you'd like to uh, support us in some way, at the end of this video, I'll put up the address uh, if you choose to uh, make a contribution. At this uh, point in time, we are endeavoring to raise uh, about $25,000 for the uh, completion of the purpose of the uh, purchase of this property. God bless you and uh, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you and give you peace. Amen.